Yo, what's going on guys? Lily is absolutely out of control with the new Leandres. It no longer gives mana and instead gives HP and the burn is twice as strong. As a jungler, you don't even need the mana because your jungle items constantly pumping you full of mana whenever you're in the jungle or river areas, which is pretty much all the time. Right now, Lily's best build is to push for Leandres and a Rift Maker and then to pick up her mesh. For your runes, take Conquer with Triant Tenacity Coup de Grasse, Free Boots Cosmic with double AP and armor. It's the time. Everyone wants to scrap with Lilia. We're on double Prance. This is what you get for warding my jungle, you little rat. Hope that ward was worth it. I will kill you all. All right, not bad. We'll, we'll take it. Not a bad start for us in the least. Oh, Vayne's maxed out here. That's kind of bad for us. A lot of stuff going on over here. This is a very, very, very weird start for us. Extremely aggressive open. I'll go ahead and hit Raptors crossover. This is such an unusual start for Lilia for sure. Oh, we're going to pick up W, auto, pull together for the big W. W center does a wild damage. It's two or three times higher than a Q-tipper. I kind of need to cross over here. We're at two prants, not a whole lot. We gotta get over because the Viego though. They really wanted to just be in my jungle. Whenever people do that, they don't think of the downsides of over committing. And sure enough, we get a kill out of it. I get his blue buff. So in theory, he should be behind right now. Main ended up using her cleanse. All right, yeah, he's level two. He doesn't seem to have smite either. Got with our smite. Got him with, whoa, we missed the Q. Auto W. He's kind of dodging everything. This is weird. Yeah, he actually outplayed me there pretty hard, not gonna lie. That was absolutely bizarre. The way he dodged every skill shot with no boots, it looked like he was scripting. That was freaking wild. We'll go ahead and pick up Dark Seal first item. Now, he didn't get our blue buff, so it was still a net win for us, but I, that was so strange. The way he dodged everything, like, frame perfectly was very, very odd. If we had landed literally any ability with our level advantage, HP advantage, we should win it. His conqueror was stacked, though. And I was missing everything. We didn't have Prance built up. Lily with no Prance is only so good. Then drop the E. Go ahead, go for the W, Q. We'll head out for a scuttle from here with full prance. Uh, I'll, I think I can tag it with a E on the way out, right? Guess I should have just used a Q on the way out. Oh well. He should be on his top side ish right now. Down to two prance. We'll stack this up, look for the Orin gank. We're on three prants. We'll go and ghost for this. Got the AOE on him. Red buff auto into Q. Auto into W. We land the centered. Down he goes. We get the kill, which is good because I burnt ghost for it. We should get something out of it. I'm going to lose all my prants on the crossover. Maybe this hits Mal's. Maybe it doesn't. We'll find out. And it hits. Nice. We took off his passive. Get a prant stack. Not bad at all. So Viego is over here near my Raptors. He's only level three, so I'm not really worried about him. He hasn't even reset yet. He ended up staying and farming it out. Not sure where he thinks he's going to go. So now he's resetting. I could cross over for his Raptors here, I think. Yeah, we'll cross over for his Raps. We'll toss this over the wall. I would like to get up some Prant stacks. If I could force Viego out. Looks like we have vision of him because we see what he bought. Huh. Okay, so with how we cleared, I'm actually gonna get double scuttle. That's really rare as a jungler to just get double scuttle. It was such an unusual open for both of us. Kinda need to use a smite here at some point. Having two smites is really pointless. Especially, it's so early in the game, we can't smite champions yet. We haven't farmed 20. 20-ish camps. We haven't removed 20 from our jungle item. 
You get treats, which helps you do it faster. <laughs> Roughly one per minute. Wait, why is Maokai not running away from that? Oh, I missed. Dude, I swear, this guy is so funky, man. He's got his boots really fast, too. Why does it say he has free boots? He only has one kill participation. I have one kill participation. It must be a bug. There's no way to get him that fast. 1kp only reduces 45 seconds. Guess we'll go Bob. We can build Prance off Dragon. Okay, so he doesn't have free boots. I don't know why it's saying he had it, I guess. I don't know where, where from. I think he's on Dragon here. Nope. I have no Prance. This is a horrible gank. Yeah, this is just a bad gate. Ah, I don't have any camps up either. This is an awkward dead space time for us. Caitlyn's dead here. Get the W on her forehead and the Q on the Lux. Smite a minion. Well played by the Morgana. Morgana's a beast. Nice. We need to finish pushing. We should be able to get this. Two kills out of it. Super, super solid. The enemy's committed heavily and I happen to be there. Get a W center and Q tipper. Q tipper for the bonus damage. W center for the bonus damage. Morgana ate all the fruit and is still seemingly low. Get him with the E. Get him with the Q. He's tanking dragon as well now at this point. Thanks for the leash, Viego. That was so weird. After all those crazy sick jukes, he does that and essentially ints. Yeah, we can't do this. I just, I'm not doing enough damage. Dragon's doing plenty of damage. I'm almost six. If I could get some help, help on this, we might actually be able to do this. Looks like Morgana wants to back. I don't blame her. We can heal off of the monsters, hitting monsters or champions with abilities heals us. That's a double R. Got her with our big W and a Q. Smite the minion. Alright, not bad. I kind of need to reset from here. Nothing left for me. Sitting on a lot of unspent gold. It's very unusual to have this much. Now we can go for our first item, which is Leandri's. Makes a super tanky, gives us crazy damage. Because uh, they buffed it. This season, it has 2% max health damage per second instead of 1%. It also gives health now instead of mana. Health is way more useful. Especially as a jungler, our jungle item is constantly pumping us full of mana in the jungle and river areas. Plus, we have blue buffs as well. So, mana... On junglers is not really mandatory, nor is it essential, like it is for mid laners to have a lost chapter rush. I do think Rod of Aegis Lily Rush is still good, but Leandre's is a bit better. Leandre's into a Rift Maker, into generally speaking Mesh. That's the core. If you don't like Mesh, then your third item would basically just be Zanius. I have a bunch of movement speed built up here. Oof, we got it too. There goes his shield. Yeah, you're dead, buddy. This isn't going to end well for you. Down he goes. I'm getting all the gold too. These guys are in trouble. Lily is one of the scariest fed characters in the game because of her speed. Oh, you're kidding me, bro. That is so unfortunate. We are a full item, so I feel somewhat comfortable doing this, especially I got it pulled out to the edge here. If someone comes across the corner, we have a good retreat option. And Lux is low. She's going to want to reset. We'll be full Prance. We're ripping through this really fast with the Leandries. You can tell this item's very balanced. Got it. I'm losing all my Prance. I have R, we should go bot side. Nice, I didn't realize 
the soil takes off Mal's shield like that. Mal's didn't knock him backwards towards us. He ended up knocking him away. What the heck? Maybe he got silenced. I'm on double prance. Not sure where Viego's at. Yeah, I want to go bot side. We'll run over here, grab wolves, gromp into bot. Full clearing into Geki on Lily is best because it helps you keep all your prance stacks up while simultaneously you get a crap load of CS. Thus, you're ahead and your ganks are way more likely to succeed due to your speed from prance. Hey, Lux. Red buff auto and smited. Ah, uh, connects. Get her with the R. Hit her with Q before it goes off into the W. Oh, she cleansed. Get her with my auto. I am pretty tanky, though. He's not even a full item. I have Leandre, so good luck to him. I'm healing back mana rapidly. I don't have anything to keep my prance off of, though. Do you see the way he juked that? It was pretty much frame perfect on the very edge of my W going <laughs> like twitching back and forth. I swear, that guy's got a dodge script or something. It looks so unnatural. <laughs> but then Morgan is hitting snare, so I don't know what to say. I mean, to be fair, when it, with, when it comes to scripts, people can flick it on and off just by holding down a single button, but... Uh, I guess Morgana, no black shield. Mal's is all magic damage. Almost died to magic damage there. I'd like to heal off a scuttle. It said it was coming in. Triple Prance, let's smite it. I think I was on a ward over here somewhere. And heal off of this real quick. The lower in health we are, the more we heal. That's one bot side with us. <clears throat> we'll run it. Oh, wow. My E hit the wall. That's horrible. I don't want a W because I thought... Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Since to throw out a random fling. Make me miss my W. Glad I held on to it there. She's not even trying to escape. Got it. He's probably right here. Yeah, he's on me. Gone with the Q-Tipper. I think I hit the E. Hit another Q-Tipper. Down he goes. It's worth. We're stacking all the gold on Lilia. Lilia can carry like crazy with her mobility. Similar to Hecarim. She's an AP hack. Her and Hecarim play very similar. Full clear ganks, full clear ganks, full clear ganks. They still out of control with gold advantage. Their high movement speed. Ultra high tempo characters. I should be healing off of him with my passive there. Yeah, he's not actually going to be able to kill me. Sucks for him. Malignant smells are hard. He's pretty scary. Drop the EQ. Nice, nice, nice. Red buff up in 27. I need to reset, man. My R's up as well. Farming right now is kind of bad when R's up. You want to have your R time down to where you're heading to the gank when there's 10 or 15 seconds left on your R. That way, by the time you get there, it's ready. So if my R is already up and we're just pathing for camps, it's somewhat wasteful. We'll go ahead and go for Rift Maker. We'll get our mesh and then we'll grab tier twos. We're already moving really, really fast with fast free boots. And with Prance up to where we don't have to rush down tier 2 boots. If you are playing from behind, then yes, getting tier 2 boots is definitely worth it. So you can get away from bad situations. It's more of them having to get away from me, though. Since we are ahead. Double TP's mid. Wow. Hit it with an auto and run over here. I'm on a ghost as well. It's a decent Q on to Orn. Double R. I can't move very much here. Catch him with the W there, I think. We hit a big Q. Mouse catches me with R. Yeah. We can keep weaving in and out. Moving 560 even in combat tier 1 boots. That's game essentially. The game's over. 
They killed nobody. They weren't really that close to killing anybody. Lily is so broken right now. She has every option in the game. I know it's easy to say, oh, well, you're fed. You're caring. Yes, that is true. However, even if you're behind on Lily, it's easy to come back with just full clearing. Champions like Warwick can't do that. When Warwick's behind, he generally stays behind. But with Lilia, it's hard to even be in a position to where you're truly behind due to her fast, healthy clears. And honestly, well above average ganks. Assuming you're full prance, her ganks are at least A tier. Borderlining S tier if you can come up behind them. Got it. Oh, I finally land a W on this dude. Got it. That's hilarious. Got it. Q and a W. Down you go, buddy. Dunked. Oh, she's trying to steal my scuttle. What a goose. I don't ever have to back. We have a good, the gold advantage. We can always heal back off or back up through our passive healing off of monsters or champions. No reason to reset. Let's take all of his camps. Certainly not playing for kills at this point. I'm just playing for dragons in their jungle. I don't feel like I need to go for Orn. He's about to walk into me, by the way. Hey friend, what did I say? What did I say, boy? He's moving insanely fast. I mean, you guys can try to focus me if you want. Oh, with Vayne there, I'm dead. Yep, well played to them. I didn't realize Vayne was there. I thought it was just Viego Mouse. <laughs> QSS is becoming more and more appetizing because of the Mouse are, but realistically, if I'm with my team, this wouldn't have been an issue. Mal's R would be canceled and Vayne would be zoned. From here, Rylize is good. We should go for tier 2 boots. Merc Treads do nothing versus Mal's against his suppression at least. So we'll push Sorks into Cosmic or Banshees. Banshees is kind of insane. Our only magic damage is Mal's mainly in Lux. So... I mean, Malignance isn't bad. I think Rylize maybe. Or even Robidon. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Robidon. Rylize is certainly good, though, if you're having trouble kiting it out. Vayne getting that shutdown is pretty bad. I think she got a thousand gold from my death there. EWQ. He goes crazy fast in his mist. He's trying to run down a Ramus. Got it. QW. Got him with the smite slow, red buff auto slow. You can auto and Q at the same time. It's buttery smooth, and your auto is the same range as your Q tipper. So if you can reach him with auto, you can reach him with Q. Get the prance up, push this into mid. Oh, the Lux snare missed. Hey Lux, goodbye Lux. All right, not bad. Got the Viego, oh, I'm dead. Ooh, I'm barely living. <laughs> Skadoosh, gone with the Q. I got healed from the monster. If you kill any monster, it refreshes your green jungle item shield completely, even if it's a small raptor. I think that's what saved me there. Came in at the very end. That was really, really close. The vein damage hurts bad. It's pinpoint damage. It stacks up heavily with their silver bolt. That back up, we'll get another green jungle shield there. Nice, nice, nice. Got with the Q. Red buff auto slow. Oh my gosh. Got him with the E. He should be dead. He's gonna get sizzled and grizzled. Very nice. 
They're trying so hard to kill me, it's insane. I keep peeling with Rift Maker though, my passive to where we're barely getting away every time. Trying to bait her out a bit. Maokai needs to push her into me. It keeps. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Save black shield for me, please. <laughs> they <laughs> they get one 1k gold every time I die. <laughs> they get almost as much gold for killing me as killing my whole team. Uh, I am gonna go for Banshees now. I'm taking most damage from Malzahar Lux. I lost all my mesh stacks there. It's rough. Well, not all of them, but 10. We still at least have the bonus movement speed. Head over for Dragon. This will help set up sup into our soul. My two deaths have given them 2,000 gold, which is almost a full item. And Singed Death there gave him 1,000. So from three deaths alone, is the equivalent of them killing 10 people. Wild. I wasn't there. That dragon was kind of risky. They could have gotten stolen. I don't know why Caitlyn keeps trying to steal those from me. I get more XP through it because of my jungle item. It's almost like she doesn't care. Let's try to see what's over here, bro. Huh. Mistimed my E horribly there. Malzahar is scaring me. Oh, this is bad. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm really squishy, apparently. <laughs> it's kind of almost time to sell the mesh. The mouse R is just so good. I can't even counterplay it. I'd have to buy QSS, which is pretty dang troll. Oh, they killed me and got 600 gold. Nice. So my three deaths have been 2,000. And wait a minute. Bonus. Wait a second. I think they got 900 off me there. It's a bonus 600 on top of my 300 base. So they got 2,900 for me. There's no reason we shouldn't group. We hard win team fights. Leave that for him. Just trying to get some prance up. Might as well fight for Baron. We have three dragons, still have the Soul Wind Con, been dying too much. Miles is ridiculous. He's the same range as my Q and my W, so if I get in range to hit him, I immediately get pegged down with his R. Hey, Viego. Goodbye, Viego. Well played, my dude. I'm on a ghost, so I'm moving pretty quick. Miles is here. Hey, Lux. Land my E into R. Land the WQ. Beautiful. Vane's on the split. Say we probably take Baron here. Malkai might not even be able to solo vein to be honest. Yeah, he really shouldn't try that. She's got a bunch of max health damage and magic resist. He's going to get himself killed. Ideally, Singe tanks, because I think I do a little bit more damage than him. He's running out of health. They both have Leandri's. Leandri's does stack, so if we both have our burn on them, they're taking times two Leandri damage. Right, made that change, I think, in the middle of Season 13. So if you have multiple Demonic or Leandre Champions. Demonic no longer exists. It's essentially just uh, Malignance now is what Demonic was. Pretty similar. Or, I guess Malignance is kind of like the old Leandres, and the new Leandres is a lot more like Demonics with the HP versus Mana dichotomy. I can't go that deep. It's too risky. Especially as I'm losing Prance. K 
Can't afford Banshees. Oh, a mist. That's gross. There's nothing even over here for me. There's no reason to be here. My whole team should get blue buff since I finished my jungle item. I think it's at the 25 minute mark it gives it because I, I was at the 20 minute mark. Jungle item finished and it didn't give it to my whole team. Alright, I'll cross through mid. Drag up in 50. I don't have the bead to dragon in a minute. Vayne may or may not have people with her. Got to keep that in mind as we head up. Lux isn't there at the very least. Would like to get red buff. Okay, someone else. It's Miles right here. Yeah, I had a feeling they were going to stack up around Vayne. I don't have my E up. He's going to kite him out so hard. It's insane. He barely even got his hands on him. <laughs> all right, Orin, well played, my guy. <laughs> I don't have to R here at all. He's got nowhere to go. I'll just let him sizzle. Malzahar ended up backing. I guess he was worried about us ending. He wasn't really aware of who on my team was and wasn't resetting. As long as we're grouped, though, if I have two or more teammates with me, it doesn't matter how many of them there are. The problem is if we're on our own, we get hit with so much CC, we can't move around freely. At nearly 3k health, we're kind of tanky at this point. Now we have Draxel, now we're really tanky, having a 400 damage shield. That's so broken. Already hard enough to pinch people off in league before their teammates save them. Hey, Diego. Oh, he went through my charm with his R? Or went through my sleep? What? I didn't know he could do that. It shouldn't cleanse my sleep, but... My sleep shouldn't cancel his R dash either because his R dash is unstoppable. But even a Malphite who gets CC'd, at the end of his R, if the CC is still lasting, it'll still affect him. So that was a very, very strange interaction. My goodness. Hey, big boy. Ooh, wait, he flashed. You know, the Q-tipper. Singe was unable to fling. I think he got condemned. Oh, got the Lux. She did, ends up missing the Q there. Man, we're moving pretty quick. Oh, nice try, Lux. That's cute. Got their inhib. They're all kind of focused on what we're doing. I think she's dead there from the burn. Yep. Couldn't get him with the Q. Someone needs to cancel all that. And I'm out of here. We're not sticking around to, to find out. Do we land the E? We do. All right. We get the sleep. Boop. Got him with the Q. Run her down into Q. Down she goes. Well played. Lilia, such a scary character. Jeez Louise. We got a lot of help back too now. And he really didn't want to FF. <clears throat> that was a very, very, very solid Lilia game. Incredibly awkward start not being able to full clear into gank. Slowed us down a lot. Slowed him down more since he lost his initial camp. Hope he learned his lesson about invading my jungle. <laughs> GG's. Let's take a look at the graphs. Damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. Damage taken, not bad either. We're number two behind the Maokai. And then for self-mitigated, we were pretty high up there as well. Lilia, amazing champion who always has good options, whether it's farming, ganking at the end of the farm, scaling up. She's never in a position with nothing to do. She's not reliant on any single item for viability. Even if Leandres gets removed from the game, Rod of Aegis is great on her, Rift is great on her. She can even go for Malignance. So she's got plenty of options. She's definitely worth maining. High value in the runes. If you guys enjoyed this 
this, uh, what is this character? Lilia. If you enjoyed this Lilia video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.